Good morning and welcome to Church Online. We are so glad that you have decided to, to join us and worship with us this morning. My name is Jamie Stamm and I'm the family pastor here at our Trustfield campus. We wanted to let you know that if you are new to the Woods Church, we would love to connect with you and let you know a little bit more of who we are and the ministries that we have. So if I encourage you to text the word CONNECT to 586-200-1785. Parents, we also wanted to let you know that we are sending out digitally the kids' curriculum each and every Sunday. So text the word CFKIDS to 586-200-1785, and you'll receive text message updates of what's going on in our kids' ministry and also receive a link to the kids' uh, curriculum each and every Sunday. We also want to let you know that coming up on August 15th is our Feed the Bay golf outing. This is our largest fundraiser for our Feed the Bay backpack program. Thank you to everyone who has already signed up to sponsor a hole or to play a round of golf at the outing. We appreciate your ongoing support so much. It's not too late to sign up. So if you want to play in the outing, you can sign up through our Church Center app. You can also find the link to sponsor a whole through our Church Center app or on our website. So thank you again for supporting our Feed the Bay backpack program. We also wanted to thank all of you for your continued generosity through this unprecedented times. It's because of your generosity that we have been able to make an impact in our community, um, even during these crazy times. And so we are so thankful for your continued support and generosity. If you have yet to connect that way to the Woods Church, I encourage you, there's some really easy ways to be able to do that. You can text a dollar amount to 84321. You can also utilize the Give button through the Church Center app, or you can visit thewoodschurch.org slash give. Thank you so much for your continued generosity and giving and supporting of the ministries here at the Woods Church. I also want to encourage you to subscribe to the Woods Church Chesterfield YouTube channel. That way you will receive and get updated each time that we have our services on Sunday mornings. Be sure to share and let everybody know on whatever social media platform you are most comfortable with that you are joining us for Church Online this morning. Thank you so much. We are um, so excited to worship with you this morning. And as we do that, let's get ready to worship. Well, good morning, church. Wherever you're at this morning, let's just worship together. Let's lift up the name of Jesus in whatever place you're in today. It's going to be a great morning. Looking forward to worshiping with all of you. So again, let's sing. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Heaven thundered and the world was born. Life begins and ends in the dust you fall. This up, come on. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. Freedom conquered, all our chains undone. Sin defeated, Jesus is overcome. third day dawn darkness was denied when the storm was gone unstoppable God let you know we go on and on impossible things in your name they shall be done unstoppable God let you go we go Shall be done. 
church, let's sing this out together. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. What a great truth that we declare that we start our morning with today. Uh, maybe some of you have been up for a little while, but uh, what a great way to start our morning is to declare that we serve a God who is unstoppable and there's nothing that can come against him. Um, and, uh, you know, what a powerful truth that we can declare um, just in our, in our daily lives, in the world around us, uh, just as we continue in worship this morning. You know, it was, it was this week I was uh, spending just some time in reflection and prayer on my own. And, uh, you know, I was reminded of this idea that, you know, our worship is not about what we do on a Sunday morning. Our worship is not about what we do on a Thursday, whether it's at our, um, at our church rehearsing for a Sunday. It's not about a, a Wednesday in a prayer time that we're having. It's not about any of those things. But our worship is about us setting aside time. Our worship is about us putting ourselves in a place, our hearts, our minds in a place to where we can engage in the Spirit and what the Spirit has for us. And can I tell you something this morning, church? That the presence of God has something for you today. The presence of God doesn't dwell in a place, in a building. The presence of God is with you where you are today and has something for you. It wants to move in your life. So again, as we continue in worship today, I pray that you would dwell on that promise and that truth that the presence is with you, that the presence of God wants to do and has something for you today. is all 
miracle can have now. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. Yes. The evidence is all around. That the Spirit of the Lord is here. A miracle, a miracle. As I walk, as I walk down through the valley, let your love rise above every fear. Like the sun shaping the shadows, in my weakness your glory appears.
Come on, let's lift this up. I'm not enough unless you come. Will you meet me here again? Because all I want is all you are. Will you meet me? I'm not enough unless you come. Will you meet me here again? Because all I want is all you are. Will you meet me here again? You know, I, uh, this morning, wherever you're at, I kind of just, I wanted you to do something with me, and it wasn't something I had necessarily planned. Um, but uh, we're going to continue in worship. We're going to sing another song together this morning. But uh, you know, I don't do this often, even in, uh, you know, when we're in a, a room together on a Sunday morning. But uh, if you're capable in the place where you're at this morning, where you're worshiping, and maybe it's not physically, maybe it's just with the posture of your heart. I just want everyone to, to find you know, a place where they can kind of kneel and just put themselves in a place to just lay themselves before the throne this morning. And again, I know maybe some of us can't physically do that wherever we may be. Maybe we're watching in a small confined space where we can't Maybe we're, uh, you know, just not physically capable, but wherever we are this morning, I just want, again, it may not be physical, but maybe the posture of our hearts to just put ourselves before the throne of God. And I don't just say that I want us to do that for the sake of saying it because it seems right or seems good or cool. The reason I say that is because this, this next song that we're going into and, and kind of a theme I even feel like this morning is just the presence of God and how faithful He is. And can I tell you, church, that in that place, again, it may be physical for some of us, may just be the posture of our hearts and minds for some. And I say it often from a platform, I don't know what you are experiencing today. But can I tell you that in that place that you are today, that posture of your heart, that posture of your mind, if you lay yourself at the throne of God and you let yourself just be filled with His presence, church, He is faithful. I know that I can look back on scenarios and things in my life where if not for God, I would still be stuck in that place that I was. But in His faithfulness, He brought me through and I can look back and I can say, thank you, God. So this morning, you know, this wasn't planned. I just want in your own place today, wherever you are, if, again, it can't be physical, maybe it's just the posture of your heart, to just sit at the throne of God, maybe even eyes closed, just to really focus and bring yourself to a place that you can think of a time in your life where He was faithful 
And church, I promise you, he is not a God who is just faithful that once, but he continues and will continue to be faithful. So in his presence, just for a moment, just for these next few seconds, wherever you are, just have that be your place at the throne of God as we continue in worship today. Walking around these walls I thought by now they'd fall But you have never failed me yet I'm Waiting for change to come Knowing the For you have never failed me yet. And your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. you're still enough keep me within your love and my heart will sing your praise again your promise still stands great is your faithful
that truth this morning. Come on, sing it out. I've seen you move. You move the mountains. And I believe I'll see you do it again. You made a way where there was no way. And I believe I'll see you do it again. I've seen you move. You move the mountains. And I believe I'll see you do it again. You made a way where there was no way. And I believe I'll see you do it again. I've seen you move. You move the mountains. And I believe I'll see you. still stands great is your faithfulness faithfulness I'm still in your hands this is my kind 